And today, I am going to be giving you the rest of the information about the Prince situation. There's still some stuff coming out, but I am going. I had a friend of mine uh, who's on YouTube, Peace Love, who actually gave a. <laughs> she did her research. Okay, she has a play-by-play, -play, uh, event by event, fact by fact of everything that's going on or whatever. Uh, I still am in touch with everybody. Um, the Prince family told me to kind of chill out and stop talking about particular stuff. Um, but you know, I'm not the one talking. It's going to be peace, love or whatever. Um, there's constantly been crazy haters coming, coming at my head or whatever. I mean, like saying, Oh, you're crazy. There's some old woman on the internet who probably doesn't have a life coming at me. There's some fat job of the hut woman who looks very similar to, the fat lady from the half and half knots. That's the Tyler Perry show, by the way. If you're not up on uh, that, it's on the own network. Check it out. Shout out to Tyler Perry. He's a friend of mine. Um, yeah, and um, they've just been coming and coming and constantly just spewing crazy hate, swearing to God that they are friends of Prince, swearing to God that they know Prince. Oh, no, Prince would never do this. Prince would never say that. Like, you don't know Prince, you stupid people i you you uh, it, it's just ridiculous and you just spew hate you're negative you're the you're, you're disgusting like trying to act like prince would be this petty or nasty or whatever but it's all good i ain't even gonna i ain't gonna really talk into it too much whatever um what i'm gonna do i'm going to let peace love talk and let her give uh her facts that she's looked up some stuff that even uh I couldn't find because you know at the same at the end of the day, I'm a dude that just knows a bunch of people and I just tell you what I know. I don't even really be doing research. Like I know I sound horrible as hell, but somebody that did do research is gonna be talking. I'm I support what they do. You should probably actually go check out her channel. She has a lot of interesting stuff about Prince. You should also subscribe to her channel because she's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, and and to all the people who just wanna, I, I've seen a couple people been trying to attack her. And say negative stuff to her. She's such a sweet, awesome woman. So, to the people who are negative, such as the the job of the hut fat lady that looks like the fat woman off of uh, the half and half knots, the old lady, and all you other people who just want to just support hate and negativity or whatever, I'm pretty sure you voted for Donald Trump. I mean, like, just just be gone, disappear. If you can't be positive. And then just don't even comment. Don't even say nothing or whatever. I mean, you could bring spew the hate to me, I guess. I can handle it. I got tough skin. So tough. Tough as nails. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, link. Check out the video after whatever and all the good stuff or whatever. And, uh, yeah, here's Peace Love. I'll holla at you. Hey, Prince Peeps. Um, I'm here to talk to you today about a subject that's very passionate to my heart. And um, I've come across some videos on YouTube. Um, Bobby the Blue, who seems to have some good information. It's a little mixed up, maybe misinformed on a few things, kind of all over the place. But he does have some good information. And that led me to um, Miriam Forty and her girl, Lori Lynn Morrow. Um, but there's no room to debate over there. And they kind of contradict themselves and change the stories a million times. And it was this, 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 and this, and all this. And shoot everybody down and get verbal and abusive. And so um, <clears throat> I met a girl, um, Peace, Strong Faith, uh, online, Strong Faith. Um, and she's very passionate about this subject, too. So... With her research and my research, what we put together, we decided to put our two cents in. So, um, we're going to start with Jordan Nelson, a.k.a. Capricio Caesar. Um, Jordan, I just want to say to you, I think you're amazing. Um, I'm glad you're here. Um, I'm sure there's millions that are glad you're here. You know, I don't think that you need to, like you said, I don't think you need any validation um, from anybody, you know, you know who you are, your family knows who you are, I think that's all that matters in the end, you know, um, 
and you seem to be very secure in that. So, and that's cool. That's awesome. I think, you know, keep doing what you're doing, continue your music, do it on your own terms, you know, don't fall in the web that your dad didn't. I'm, I'm sure he's, you know, he's talking about this. So, um, I don't, um, I don't like how everybody has came at Jordan. Oh, well, you didn't get a DNA, so you're not blah, blah, blah. That does not prove anything. I want to ask you, how many people out here has gone and got an, a DNA for their child? If you know 100% that child is yours in the father's, you know, you don't, you know. I'm sure Jordan already has that taken care of. I am sure that he probably does. I mean, I don't know 100. I'm just out here like everybody else. I have no, you know, but... I'm sure he already knows. He's not, you know, he's not worried about, I don't think he's worried about all this. I think he's really hurting and he's, you know, I don't know. It's it's probably really hard and, and I feel bad for him that everybody that's attacking him. Um, everybody's saying, oh, well, you know, he hasn't gotten a DNA. Well, he'll do that when he's ready if he hasn't already done that and it's already been established. So um, as far as the people saying, oh, well, he don't look like Prince. He don't sound like Prince. It can't be his son. I don't see what that has to do with anything he's not his clone none of our kids look identical to us or the father they could look like both they could look like one they could look like the other they could look like their own person you know i mean at the end of the day they're their own person you know they're their own person and of course he's going to sound like when he did in the 70s or the 80s or 90s he's in his his era he's got his own style you know he can sing he can make music. He, you know, he does have a look, you know. So stop, stop attacking him and, and, and taking him down. And as far as Miss Evelyn, um, I think, you know, she don't need to be attacked. Okay, if that is her son, you don't need to attack her. She has made no claims whatsoever. So to attack this woman is like beyond like, whoa, you know, it, it, it blows my mind that, that people can be so, so much malice in their heart that they're attacking her. And if, and if, Biologically, Jordan's not hers. I think she's a very noble woman to take a child that is not theirs biologically and raise them and love them and care for them as their own, especially a child that you know all the repercussions that can come from that. You know, so I, I just think people are so evil to, to do that to her. And they've called her names, you know, they've called her things I'm not going to repeat. It's just, you know, and I, and I think that's why one of the biggest reasons I wanted to do this video is, is people like Miriam Forty or Lori Lynn Morrow, that you don't even know these people and you attack them in such a malicious way, you know, and you take every, all your opinions and all what you believe to be true. And that's fine. But then you cram it on people and you attack people, you know, I think that's the part that I have the issue with and why I really wanted to do this. So, but we'll get back to, we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Um, I don't know any of the people I'm talking about in the video. I don't have an inside source. I'm not a friend of a friend of a friend, you know? So, um, Jordan, more power to you. Do what you need to do to get through this time, you know, and, and your family and your siblings and your extended family, you know, don't let they bother you. If they can't make you and they can't break you, don't let they affect you. You know, keep doing what you do. Um, okay, so with that being said, I'm a little nervous with this. With that being said, Jordan, he was born 32791. So that would mean he'd be conceived in 1990. Um, everybody has the debate that, oh, Cat left in 88 after Love Sexy. Cat left. She left, blah, blah, blah. Or... Or in 89, yes, I guess it was 89, or 89. Um, but really, Cat was still on retainer with Prince in 89 when he was doing um, Batman. And she was doing Catwoman. Quinky dink, that's so Prince of you, that's so Prince. So she was doing Catwoman, he was doing Batman, that's 89. Now, 90 is Graffiti Bridge. Cat was supposed to be, appear in, in Graffiti Bridge. She didn't, for whatever reason. And that would have been awesome, though. But, um, and she also was working on an album at that time when she did Catwoman that didn't come out. My theory is, is, this is my theory, that maybe Miss Cat was pregnant. I mean, you're not going to, I mean, yeah, you're not going to start your solo career out, 
you know, pregnant. So maybe, you know, that's when that all happened. I mean, if she, if she conceived him in 1990, he was born in 91. I mean, you know, everybody's like, oh, well, she wasn't around when she was. You don't know. She wasn't in the limelight no more. She wasn't out here, you know. But there's something there. There's something there. There's definitely something there. I mean, there's a birth record that is on Jordan Nelson, 25, in Minnesota. And they have John L. Or John, yeah, John L. Nelson and Catherine Steiner. That's pretty close. I mean, the father, I mean, Prince's dad's name and then Catherine, which is Kat's name, but a different last name, Steiner. He was good for that. I mean, look how long everybody called Amir Boy Gregory. You know, Matt, I went in the hospital under Maya Gregory. Prince wasn't even labeled on there so that no one would know. And I don't think we would have known about Amir. We wouldn't even known his name was Amir if Matt, I wouldn't have came out when somebody said it. We'd all still known him as Boy Gregory. And I don't even think we would have knew about Boy Gregory, you know, had, had uh, the nannies not, you know, did all what they did. That was cruel and oh my Lord. But um, I want to get back to that situation because I want to hit on um, the genetics disorder, the Pfeiffer genetics disorder, but we'll get back to that. So, so Jordan, so we have, you know, Jordan. And I have a lot of, I mean, I'm not just gra grasping that, oh, this is, you know. I do, I have, I have definitely researched this, you know, and and I'm going to share with you what I have. So, um, you know, Kat herself. She she filed a paternity suit. It was what you know, closed record. We, I mean, you really can't even find it, but we do know that she did. You know, um, we know she was still on the retainer in eighty nine. We know she was supposed to be in Graffiti Bridge, which was in ninety. He was conceived around what May June of nineteen ninety, and that's when they started filming Graffiti Bridge. It was around May June. It took six months to film. It was released in November nineteen ninety. So. Um, you can look at all this stuff you can see for yourself. You can go, you can research it, you can agree, you can, we can agree to disagree. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm fine with that. I just wanted to share it on a more loving basis with the facts more aligned. So, um, you know, Kat, Kat, I love you. I know you can snap off. That is the biggest reason I didn't want to do this video. <laughs> Because I, I, you know, I have mad respect for Kat. I love Kat. I think she is the best female companion or on stage or however you may, you know. She, they just had the best chemistry. I think, oh my gosh, they were amazing. And, you know, things have happened. So, um, but that was my biggest fear in doing this is Miss Kat because I have mad respect. But, you know, I mean, you can go through the timeline, you know. I think Jordan, in my own opinion, I think Angel may be Prince's, you know? I mean, these are my opinion, is that Jordan and Angel are Kat and Prince's children. And there's a lot of documentation to, to back up what I'm telling you. This isn't like I'm just that kind of stuff. These are from interviews that, you know, Kat herself has done, and she has, um, you know, she has stated, like, when... Uh, at one of the interviews, she stated that um, at the end, she said uh, Prince loved his fans and so did his son. Um, her friend that did the interview, her cousin, may, it may have been. I'd have to, you know, I'm, I'm going to post it. Um, she even posted it on her page, and Kat, Kat loved it. So, I mean, you know, um, Kat has posted things herself, like with Prince and Jordan, with, you know, little captions, hmm, or you know, different things she's posted. Um, once upon a time, she said, you know, um, I'm raising my three children. Well, why wouldn't she put an angel in there at that time, you know? Because she does have Tony, the oldest. Um, um, she does have Tony. He's, what, 36. Um, his dad, his last name is Brooke. We know that. Um, and then there's Jordan. Um then there's Angel. Jordan was born in 91. I think Angel was born around 96. And then the twins, of course, that were born in 97, right after. So, um, But Jordan and Angel don't seem like they were close into the family circle as the twins and the oldest. So the oldest and the two youngest, 
but the two in between. So something was going on with them. And then Angel switches up. She gets Jones, uh, Lopez, and then she's got Angel Alexandria. I love that one. I think that's kind of a tribute right there. Um, she even has things on her page of Alexander, never mind. Um, going back and forth with her, asking about her mom's health. This is before everybody's icons were of Princess before they passed. Um, most of the stuff I'm talking about are things before they passed. Um, one thing that everybody had a big debate about was um, Miss Evelyn stating that that is my son, not Princess. Well, I have two adopted children. I don't like to call them that. They're my daughters, just not biologically my daughters nonetheless and if somebody asked me is that such and such as child I'd say no that's my child you know it comes with the territory you feel entitled that way you're like and, and like she's really gonna come up and be like no that is, you know and tell Mary and these people are attacking her come on really no it's not gonna happen like that you know so and then um Jordan had made um a, 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 you know a, a post when his father passed and um Tony Glover, Kat's older son, he commented on her, you know, and he basically was saying, you know, I'm hurt and you're, you know, I know you're hurt and we're praying for you, you know, um, he's had pretty much passed on the torch and I know you'll live up to it, you know, um, and he, uh, uh, their auntie, I believe, commented, you know, and he commented back and, you know, they have these conversations all over in the social networks, there's no one, you know, looking into it, I guess, is not in depth into whatever and it's just something I'm passionate about and I guess, you know, I don't know, but, um, but it's all right there. And I doubt if, uh, if, if Tony, if that wasn't his brother, why would he, you know, and, and he knew that that wasn't being done. Why would, why, why would he go on a complete stranger's page that was making claims, which Jordan never made claims, but what the world is saying, he's making claims or whatever, so be it, or he's not saying, so that's basically like claiming whatever, you know, that, um, you know, passing the torch, giving him a message like that. And there's, and there's many other, you know, it seems like. Tony reaches out the most. It seems like Tony wants to know his siblings most. And now Jessica is 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 definitely on that same level, it seems like. Um me myself, I wish Kat would would, would uh if this is also claim your pit, you know, claim her place and, and, and let that Chicago girl come out and just do it. I mean, I don't know what stipulation she's under. So I mean outside vision is always twenty twenty, but I wish she would um step up and say, this is, you know, this is my children's and this was what I was under and you know what, and this is what is. And kick them the heck out of Paisley Park and out of the vault and, you know, and out of, oh, it's just, and and let the rightful heir take take their throne, you know, so. And, and I think it would be amazing, a boy and a girl, I mean, that's amazing, you know, that's just like, oh my gosh. But I can understand the reasoning behind it, you know. I mean, like I said, outside vision is 2020 and, the hurt they must be going through, you know, if they were close with their dad, you know, I'm sure they're hurting. If they weren't, like the ones that out here are making claims now, if they didn't know his dad or wasn't close with his dad, or, I'm sure they're hurting even more, you know. I mean, look at us as just mere Prince Peeps, and we're looking for closure. And, you know, we have no bloodline. We have no, you know, we have his music. He's gotten us through times, and he's he's been with us so long, and we have all our reasons, you know, why we, you know, why we love him so much, you know, but we do. And so imagine if you were actually his children or family or people that have been very close to him, like on a love, not outside, a, a love, you know, imagine how they're feeling or what they're going through right now. Put yourself in their place and stop being so abusive, you know. So I'm going to take a pause on me. I'm going to share some things I have. And then take it yourself and go further and just see, you know, but be respectful. And and because we are curious, we're human, we're curious, you know, but just be respectful. You know, you don't have to bombard them and you don't have to attack them and you don't have to anything. Just let them be until they're ready, you know, just let them be. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take a pause, let you look over what I have and then we'll continue on.
Okay, so that's some of the things that, you know, I have. I mean, I have, I have an overabundance of it, but so those are some things I wanted to share with you. And, you know, and you can research it further and you can, you know, it's, it's a lot of it's right there, you know? So, I mean, but like I said, just do it in a respectful way, you know? Um, I want to touch on, so speaking of respect and disrespect, you know, and this was another reason I wanted to do this video was, you know, like I had spoke about before how I went on certain sites and, 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 you know, was attacked and, you know, um, I have a piece of heart, you know, I don't want to fight with anybody. I'm not gonna, you know, no one wins an argument. So it's just, it's not worth it. And I, and I didn't argue. I just asked why this or, you know, why that. And so, um, so that's it right there. This is Genius Voice of a Generation, Bobby J. Smith II, signing out. Hey, if you want to watch more of the video, I'm going to put a link in the description. There will be a link in the description for you to watch and listen to the rest of her video. Uh, go check out Peace Loves. Go subscribe to Peace Loves' YouTube channel. She has a lot of interesting things on there. Like I said, there will be a link in the description. Go check out the rest of the video. She goes in on the fat job of the hut. A uh, woman who looks a lot like the fat lady from the half and half knots. Um, and uh, yeah, nothing. Please spew out as much love as possible. Whatever. I know some haters gonna be on here speaking negative or whatever. But she killed it with the facts. I mean, fact after fact after fact. Woman did her research. It is apparent and obvious. All right. Well, anyway, I will talk to you later. Uh, subscribe because I am a voice of the internet and I control you. I control you. No, you ain't got to subscribe. I'm tripping. All right. Hey, go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe if you like, if you want to. You're free to do what you want. Uh, this is a free country, free world. And I am the genius voice of a generation, Bobby the Blue. I am signing out. I'll holler at you later. Make sure you press the like button. Make sure you subscribe. I'll holler at you. Bye.